Welcome back to the channel guys and today we have episode 4 of the Youth Intake Challenge, the hardest challenge on Football Manager. Have we got the playoffs or have we not? Let's do it. Yes, we did. As you can see, we finished 10th just inside the playoff zone. Three points ahead of Lucchese. We did deserve to get into the top 10, I feel. We were very, very good this year. We did draw at the end of the season as well to Juventus under 23s. Now, in the playoffs, we do have Perugia in the first round. If you look at this, though, there is a lot of rounds. So, are we going to go up? 99% chance we don't. Um, there's a big chance we don't even beat Perugia. Um, they were very good this season, as you can imagine, because they're a very good team. They finished fifth. They finished 17 points in front of us. So let's get into the game and see what happens. So this is the team then. We've got Bayagini in goals, Kamara, Brenner, Ronchi and Fisori in defence, Bartolini in front of those, Mutton left midfield, Sabatini and Giordani in centre midfield and Bellini on the right midfield with Luis Enrique up front. Now I am going to start this next match in this shape, which is a tough games one. I've got the little change of um, tactic here. Let's get into the game and see what happens, right? I think for the team talk, we're going to go with no pressure. Because there is literally no pressure. We've got nothing to lose. And that's had a grand total effect on one player. So thank you, Bellini, for listening. Everyone else is not bothered. I really, really, really need these coaching badges, though, you know? Really, really. Right, so we have an individual team talk with the uh, different um, areas of the pitch. And it has actually worked out a little bit better than originally. With... What, Enrique? Giordani? Ah, that's a bad first touch, man. Fiorillo. I think he used to be a good goalkeeper back in the day on FM. I recognise his name. Big header there. No, nope. Kamara brings it down. Fantastic. Brenner to Bartolini. Into Bellini. Into Giordani. One of our main men. Oh, Bellini's got it though. Go on, Bellini. Whip it in. Enrique. Oh, and it's a goal. Two minutes in. Let's go. Come on there. Bellini. What a player, man. He's been fantastic this season. I retrained him onto the right wing. And he's been absolutely amazing. He's been so worked... He's, he's, he works so hard down that hand side. Good cross as well. Great header by Enrique into the top corner. Cross barring in as well to make it even sweeter. 1-0 up after two minutes. Let's go. Okay, we're playing out. I'm not sure about this. We're trying. A great turn by Giordani to Bellini. Oh my God, we're Barcelona. Bellini, don't shoot. You're going to shoot, aren't you? You are. Oh, that would have been so nice if we'd have played that through there. Good start though by the boys. Very good start. Another highlight. We're on key highlights and they're happening very fast. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Big header. The work. We're having all the highlights at the moment, though, so that is a good thing. Mutton. The Kamara. Kamara down that right side. Bellini again. Bellini loves a cross and he's great at them. Oh, a header by Henrique again. Henrique's decent in the air, isn't he? Eight minutes in, though. Three highlights. We'll take that. Okay. First highlight for Perugia by the looks of things. Down the right side. Great block. Can we get out to that? Can we get out to that? They've got very good players. And I think one highlight will be a reminder of that. Come on, guys. Someone needs to win this ball. Oh, they've got very good players, haven't they? Ferrar Ferrarini. Oh, what a save, Biagini. Oh, my God. That had no right to be saved. What a goalkeeper. Crosses in from the corner, though, and it's over the bar. We got away with one there, guys. We got away with one there. They are now on top by quite a bit. Um, half time, I'm going to have to hopefully do something to sort that out. Okay. So, it is only one leg as well, I'm pretty certain. After the initial dominance from us, they have just grown into this game and started dominating it. So, I need to do something at half time to change that round. First of all, I'm going to say I'm happy. Get the morale up, right? We firstly need to do that. That makes sense to me. Secondly, we're going to have a look at the analysis tab here. Whoa, we are very deep. Okay. Um, yes. Obviously, their outside centre-backs are going to have a lot of space. I could maybe push my full-backs up. This is, this is a tough formation to play against what they're playing because they literally cover all areas of the pitch. The only ones really that they don't cover is these areas here. But it's hard to take. We've got midfield left and midfield right, so maybe I could push them up, but then I don't like the fact that I need these guys to like help each other out. Maybe we cl cl trap on the outside. So we, we force them outside because they've got less people outside, right? I also think we stop crosses. I think that's another good thing we do. We, we do. Um, what else can we do, though? We can... 
I think we could play fairly narrow in our width. A bit closer together. We are quite wide apart there. I'd like us to be quite close. Occupy these little areas in here. They're quite wide too. So if we can get the ball into those little areas, that'd be quite nice. I don't think we need to do much else apart from that. Corner for them. First highlight of the second half. And it's 1-1. Unfortunately, straight away, they have a highlight and they scored it. They're just too good for us, apparently. They're just too good. Um, okay, so that's not helped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my home team tactic, which is a bit more, not aggressive, but it's a bit more controlling. Or tries to. So I'm going to change to that. Because that wasn't working, right? Let's be honest, it wasn't working. Uh, I'm going to go down to balanced on this one. I just don't think we have the players yet to be able to deal with this. We've got a corner, though. Headed out. Henrique picks it back up, though. I'm not, I'm not sure Henrique should be taking out corners. Renner to Ronchi to Mutton. Plays it through to Battalini. Is that a goal? Oh, my God, my DM. is ghosted in behind. Battellini, what a finish. He's having a little dance at the corner flag as well in front of the Perugia fans. Out of nowhere, smash and grab. Brenner, back to Ronchi, to Mutton. What a run as well. This guy's playing him on. Vukic. And what a finish as well. The keeper could not do a thing. Great finish from Bartolini. And somehow, what a run that is, by the way. He's, he's sniffed the danger there, hasn't he, for a DM. It looks like he had 20 off the ball. Right, let's see what we can do here then. Oh, I like for them. But, well, they've got the ball, but it's in they, deep in their half. Yeah, they're very dangerous in these areas, aren't they? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ferrarini again. What a save, Biagini. Right, okay. 70-minute mark. We're holding on. Somehow. Somehow, some way. Corner for them. 75th minute. Good first header. Out of the box. <gasps> oh, what an effort. Right, I'm going to try and hopefully now make a few subs. But also, I'm going to try and save, uh, shut this game out a little bit. So, we're going to take off Kamara. Like for like with Fancelli. He's very like for like in that respect. Um, I'm going to take off... Who else are we going to... Bartolini, my DM. He's very tired. And I am going to put on... Do we put Capone on, even though he's a little bit unhappy? You can see he's declining slightly, but he's got good mentals, good leadership. Maybe we bring him on there. Um, Giordani's is not having the best of games, and Palmer has come on with a few goals this year, so maybe we do that. He's a good three and a half star centre attacking midfielder. Thirty one though, I've got a lot of older players, haven't we? I don't know if I should be taking Giordani off though, but I think for potential fresh legs, I think it's needed. Um, and for now, I think we'll leave it for uh, that. But I'm going to make a few changes to the tactic. So fullback, I'm going to make him hold position. And he's going to shut down the ball less. Same on the right back. I'm going to change you from wing back. We're just going to try and shut this out a little bit. We're going to have to go crazy. Um, and then we're going to press less on the wings as well. Just stay in formation a little bit. We don't need to be uh, chasing the ball around like idiots. Okay, we'll make those three substitutions, those changes. Let's see what happens. I'm also, as well, we're going to time waste slightly. Um, I'm going to play for set pieces slightly as well. Because uh, we've done, we, we've we've had a few decent set pieces. Long goal kick, though, straight away a highlight. Don't know if it's for us. I'm hoping it is. If it's for them, that makes my changes look really bad. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Richie. Well done, goalkeeper. That's class from you. He's been brilliant all game. Don't let me down now. Just as I said that, I realised they are very aggressive, aren't they? They are pushing right up the pitch. Can Mutton win that header? He can't. It's coming straight back at us, unfortunately. Their left wing back down here is in a ridiculous amount of space. So is their right wing back. Matos puts it across and he's hit the post. Oh my God, how are we surviving? How are we surviving? I do not know. Corner though. Into the box. Biagini gets it again. Oh my god, I don't know how we're gonna sub sub <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna survive. Mutton. Mutton's a guy that can win headers, right? I think. Pretty certain he's quite tall. 
Six foot, not really. What's their right wing back looking like? I am sweating this, guys. Five foot 11, eight jumping reach. I'm just wondering if we should maybe get throw our goal kicks out the flanks. Take long goal kicks to the flanks. And we also need to counter. Take counter press off. No, I know, I know. We need to counter press because when we, we look really bad when we're... Uh, I'm also just going to put you on support. Hold position. You can also hold position. We don't need to be running forward like idiots. Right? It's not what we need to be doing. There we go. Okay. Oh, my God. Right. Oh, we're attacking too fast. Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. We were attacking way too fast. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Whew, if we somehow win this game. They've had 3xG, by the way. I don't know what's going on. We're just somehow holding on. I don't, I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm just going to leave it because that's the all changes I can make. Oh, my God. 93rd minute. 94th minute. Oh, my God. We are through to the next round. Now, there's a long way to go, but that is a fantastic win. I don't know how we've managed that. 3.37 XG from Perugia through to the next round. Second round, we're playing Gubbio. Gubbio this year finished on the exact same points as, as Perugia, as you can see there, 74 each. They did win a lot more games, drew a lot less. So they like had the win or lose, usually. Um, this year, actually, we won them and we lost to them, so that makes total sense. So we're playing Gubbio next. I've had a look at when we beat them and we started off with the tough games tactic. So let's try that again. Um, all our players are fighting fit, which is really nice. Let's do this. We're going to do exactly the same as last time. We're going to go no, no pressure. And again, Bellini's the only one that's listening. Okay, I mean, it worked last time. Let's try it again. This time we've only got four people listening, unfortunately. We are away. I think they got the seeding for the draw. I think if you finish near the bottom, I think you play nearly every single game away, which is makes sense, to be honest. Um, Ekuban up front for them is very, very good. I think he got top scorer in the entire league with 18 goals. Again, he's not amazing at everything, uh, anything really, but he's pacey, he's fast, he's strong, he can jump. Uh, so yeah, this guy's going to want to get in behind our back line at all times, so we're going to have to be wary of that. 4 2 three, one, they're playing with two DMs. Let's do this. First one, first attack is ours, a corner, again. Let it out. Enrique. Oh, he's tipped it in. What is going on? Vetterell in the goal for Gubbio has just palmed it into his own net. nets. I've never seen that. That's a, not a very good effort, but what is he doing? I need to have a look at him now. I mean, he just looks okay, doesn't he? He looks fine. Oh, my God. That was the strangest thing. I've never seen that animation this year. Right, what a start. Wow. At the moment, I'm not too unhappy with it. Can we go to centre field there? Yeah, Danny, come on, mate. I need you to do something for me, dude. I need I need you in these. Been amazing all season. That's a great pass as well. Sabatini. Ah, it lays down there, Sabatini. That was a nice little uh, build-up play, that. That was nice. Here we go. Oh, it's just gone straight through. What are we doing? Oh, good save. That was poor defending, really poor defending. Uh, so, before this game started, I went and had a look at the league, and <laughs> we are, by a little distance, not a massive difference, but by a little distance, the worst team attribute-wise in this league, Serie C. So, if we were to go, now it would be exciting, but it would almost certain be a relegation. I don't even think I'd be able to keep them up. And I'm pretty decent at doing that usually. But I don't think I'd have a chance. I just don't. Because I think no matter what tactics you uh, you put out, your players have to be somewhat good. right? I'd, like I said, I'm fairly certain we won't. There you go. As as, as I'm speaking about it, Corsinelli there equalises. Great goal from them. Um, I'm pretty certain we won't go. But if we did... I think it'd be a constant, a straight certain relegation too. So, but we'll see, right? We're playing for it. We, we'll we'll see what goes on, right? We're going to say we're going to owe them after last time because we did lose the last time. We beat them in the first game. Highlight seventy one minutes. Bellini is giving it straight to them. That's unfortunate. We need to keep the ball there because these are too good. We can't keep giving the ball back. 
Boulevard it. Inside. Oh, this has not got a good feeling about it. Pirello. Mercedante. M Mamion. Over the top. What a save again. Oh, my God. Yeah, I need to do something. I need to do something. We're getting dominated now. And rightfully so, to be honest. They've got a way better team than us. But I need to pull something out here. Hopefully this isn't a goal. We, we got away with that. Well done, Biagini. What a monster he is in the goal. Okay, I'm going to pause it there. I need to do something. Because we're not creating anything, right? Again, I'm going to go to the starting shape. And I'm going to go down to positive. I am also going to put our passing up to standard. And I'm going to go pass into space too. I'm going to take play out of defence off. Um, and I'm going to make the same subs as I did last time. So I'm going to put on Capone. I'm going to, going to put on Palma. I'm going to put on Fancelli like we did last time. But this time I'm going to put Bassini on at left back. Now he's just slightly worse. But again, he's a centre back too, but he's fresh legs right down that side. The other sub that I like to put on sometimes is Peccia or Bellini, but I don't want to take Bellini off. He's just too good. Like, I can't make my team that much worse because they will just slaughter us. We're already vastly outnumbered in terms of attributes. Okay, 10 minutes. 10 minutes to do something here, lads. Play for set pieces again, and I'm also going to play fairly narrow. See if we can get a bit of, uh, bit of interplay going. Let's see. 84 minutes, 85 minutes, 86 minutes. Come on. Come on. Need a mistake from them. That's all we need. Just one mistake from them. Don't think it's going to come. Oh. Oh. Oh, we've won it back. Oh, my God, please. Please, imagine. Imagine. <laughs> no way. Oh! <laughs> yes, way. <laughs> Palma, the super sub. Oh, my God. Right. Backs to the wall. Hold position. Hold. Hold. Everyone, hold. Right, hold. Hold, 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 hold. We're not pressing either. We're staying in position. No one's pressing. We're not doing it. Get that press off. Actually, no, we'll leave that as a as a default, but we will do it. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, do I make Do I make another sub? I'm panicking. Um, I don't want to take Bellini off. He's four stars, but he's tight and he's not playing very well. Uh, shall I put Petchia on? He's only one and a half stars. He dives into tackles. He's more a defensive winger than he's a winger. Maybe we just play a defensive winger then on support. Yeah, I think that works for us. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Can we hang on? Can we hang on? We've done it again. <laughs> we are just... I don't know what's happening. Guys, I don't know what's happening. Wow, 2-1. Into the next round. The third round has given us Juve Stabia. Now they finished third in their area. I think it was the C division. I think we're in the A division. No, we're in B, they're in C. So they finished third in theirs, which is pretty impressive. I've had a look at a few of their players. They're, they're not bad. Um, they're just as good as Perugia and Gubbio, to be honest. So it's just more of the same. I don't think we're going to get third time lucky. We're going to see. Um, this one, though, this tie is two legs. As you can see, that says first leg. We've gone for the same team, and I think we're going to go for the exact same team talk as well. Let's just have a little look. Um, yeah, no pressure. Nobody's listened to me this time. Ronchi is looking happy. Other people, okay, it's not terrible, it's okay. Midfield looks okay, though. Right, let's do it. Free kick at the edge of the area straight away. Headed out three minutes in. That was a nice area to get a free kick in as well. I was quite impressed with that one. I was uh, I was hoping for better ball in though. Bartolini picks it up. Brenner doesn't look like the pressing is as hard as the last two teams, which might be good. Mutton, go on, Mutton. What have you got for us, lad? Cuts it back. Oh, Giordani. See, I thought he was going to score from there. That's a great chance as well. Okay, Fisori picks it up. This is good start. Good start again. Mutton. Cross to Kamara. Giordani. Henrique. Is that is that offside? I think he's offside, isn't it? He? Oh, he's offside. What a nice bit of play that was, by the way. Good start, lads. Good start. Okay, so half time. No more highlights. Now, I think for this... 
I'm going to say our shooting is not being good enough. Because it hasn't. Let's be honest, it hasn't. And then we're going to go to tactics and we're going to go to analysis. See what's happening. Right, it does look like we've got plenty of space at the back. I honestly think we could push us up a bit further. So this guy's a bit more space and then this guy's a bit closer to this guy. I think I'm going to push us up. It might be a ridiculous decision. But we're having a lot of ball. I'm not doing anything with it. I should maybe keep it as it is. But I think that's a decent change. If they score from that, all on me. My fault. Oh dear. Oh dear. As you can see there, we've got three four-star players. And one of them just got injured. That is not good because it's a red injury as well. Oh dear. Um, okay. I think what I'm going to do here is... I'm going to put Sabatini on this right wing. And I'm going to put Palmer in there. Sabatini can play on the right midfield a little bit. But the alternative is Peccia and he isn't very good. So let's keep it at that. I can't believe we're missing him. Bellini's a massive miss. That was one of the worst injuries we could have possibly got. Not much has happened the second half. Nothing at all really is happening. Four minutes. I mean, we seem to be better away from home. No highlights in the entire of the second half there. Okay, now maybe I could have twisted there, but I didn't want to lose the game because this now becomes a one-off game, right? Yeah, as we thought, Bellini's out for three to four weeks, so his season is over, unfortunately. We're going to have to do this without him. So just before the next game, and by the way, I can't find if there's any away goals. I'm going to have to have another look. But Capone there has just dropped his annoyance, which actually was about lack of sufficient quality squad depth, which I forgot about. I thought it was first-team football, which is good. And as a result of that, our dynamics page there, his atmosphere has gone flying up, which is really nice. And the players are enjoying playing together, pulling in the same direction, and should have no cause for complaint for anything other than the most serious of issues. And also, my managerial support has gone up as well. So they should react a bit better now to my team talks. Saying that, they probably won't now, but they should. And that is a very good time for that to happen. Obviously, the injury to Bellini isn't great. So the only change we made was the substitution that you guys saw last game. So I put Palmer in box-to-box, -box and I put Sabatini where Bellini was. Now again, for the third time, we are going to say no pressure. Only one person has responded. Okay, we've got a few more there. And my striker does look complacent, which isn't great. Let's do this. Let's win this game as well. First highlight then. It's their free kick. Indirect free kick, it looks like. Cangiano is looking to whip it in. I don't like how many players they've got at the back, back post there. That might be something we need to have a look at. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that feels underwhelming because before that highlight came on, we actually had a decent chance. Uh, it didn't show the highlight, but it said superb move, and the XG went up by a little bit. Uh, the same sort of XG as that chance there. So annoying that we didn't take it, and they did. Again, I don't know if there's away goals, but it looks like they might have the upper hand on us here. A good start from them, to be honest. Maselli, oh, what a pass. Oh, what a goal. Can't You can't complain at that. You cannot complain at that. What a fantastic goal. 2-0 to Juve Stabia. And yeah, like it says at the bottom there, we're going to have our work cut out. I think that's us done now. We'll see. We'll fight. We will always fight to the end. But I can't see can't see anything happening here now. Our luck was bound to run out, right? Another highlight coming up here. We need a mistake from them, right? We need them to make a mistake. It doesn't look like they're going to make one, though. A fantastic. Oh, I thought it was a better pass than it was. Okay, we can get rid of that now. Let's see how we decide to play out. Now, they aren't as aggressive on the press, but that might be what helped us last time. So, actually, they're playing this really smart. Yeah, there you go. They're waiting, 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 like we just did there. Go on, Giordani. Go on, Sabatini. That's a shocking pass, but that might be because you're out of position, right? Yeah. Okay. I think this is their highlight. They're just a bit too good than us. Maselli. Great pass. Oh, nearly. Okay, we got away with that one as well. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our lineup higher. They've got too much space in there, and I don't like it. We're going to go push our lineup a little bit. There was just too much space in here, right? Didn't like it. Still quite a lot, but not as much. Go on, Mutton. Well done. Well done, Mutton. Well done, man. That's brilliant. Enrique Giordani. Yes! Perfect. Let's go. Just pushing us up slightly. 
made us a bit closer to them and we got the ball taken off. And Mutton there, fantastic work with the interception and the run. Great pass to Henrique. And he didn't look complacent at all there as he plays in Giordani. What a finish from the main man. He's actually come alive. And there we are. Oh, oh, maybe maybe another highlight for us. Okay, maybe that change has worked fantastically. Bartolini to Giordani. Oh, I mean, he's hitting. It's a good hit, but I wondered if he could play Sabatini in above him. Corner, though. Luis Enrique to whip it in. Ronchi, what a save. Oh, my God. Big chances. Giordani. Palmer. Oh, blocked. Right, okay. We could potentially here be 2 2, won't it? and they couldn't complain. Another corner. It's bouncing around. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I think we've killed the momentum there. I think we've killed the momentum there. Yeah, we have. Okay, we've come back into the game, though. We're going to stick into the second half like this. I don't know if there's an away goal. Like I said, I'm not sure. I'm going to say please, because I am pleased with that. We've been doing really well there. Palmer is anxious and not playing well. So I'm just going to do that gonna do that and i think what i might do here actually is i might bring vantaggiato on the youngster at right wing but i'm just gonna push him slightly further up on the left hand side and we're gonna put on i don't want to bring cesarini on because he's not um well go on then we'll bring him on side forward why not no do you know what i'm just gonna drop him back i like the i like the system I know they can't play there, play there, but I like the system that we've got there. So I'm going to do it. I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't, want to, I don't want to compromise our shape. Our shape's been good. Oh, also, as well, quick one. Our right back, Tamara, playing shocking again. I think next game, if we get through this somehow, is going to start the next one. He's not playing very well. Um, Fisori as well, take off for Bassini. And the last sub, I should probably put two up front. But again, our system is working quite well. Um, Sabatini struggling. Caponi could come on. Come on. Let's take him off then. Let's do that. Right, let's also put Caponi on support just to push us a bit, a bit further forward. Right. Highlight for them. <laughs> Not good. Not what we wanted. Been a valiant effort, lads. Can we somehow win this ball back and maybe counter attack? Is that possible? Oh, good, good effort that. Lucky for them. Okay, goalkeeper, that's class from you. Right, it's not now or never because we've still got ten minutes plus out of time. But it's sort of now or never, you know. We're playing it out though. We're uh, we're brave. And Sally knocked it into Brenner. Now, this guy here, Bartolini, is in all kinds of space, guys. We need to find him. There we go. Now we found him. Enrique. Nah, I need better from you there, Enrique. I need you to either carry on with the ball or slip him in. Right. I'm going to push us a bit further up, even further. We need to do this. We have to do this. I'm also going to get, get stuck in on. We're gonna, we need to do that. I think we also need to do step up more. We need to be a bit more aggressive because we're not going to win. Otherwise, it's not creating anything, are we? We've had some really good efforts this game as well. This is going to be a tough one. Um, I'm going to push us up to positive, maybe. No, do you know what? I'm going to be a bit more aggressive with the rolls. I'm going to put you on winger. Back. You know what? We're going to go for it. We have to, right? We're not, we're not having a what-if situation. So, uh, Defiandra. You're going to come on. Um, do I take Giordani off or do I just stick him up front? Don't see why. Deep line forward maybe. Pressing, pressing forward. I feel like this is the best. Deep line forward. Yeah, let's go deep line forward. Let's also have you as... There. I'm also going to push you on. So that makes sense. Why not? Let's get you an attack as well. Do it. Okay. No, we couldn't do it, guys. We're out. That was a very, very good effort, though. As you can see, these teams that we've just played against 
have done really well this season and we've matched them step for step. We've come back well into that game. We've lost. We can hold us heads out. We can hold us heads high, and we can go again next season and try and introduce some of the youngsters. And hopefully, by the end of next season, our team is looking stronger than this season. So unfortunately, the season has come to an end. I've just checked the objective bingo sheet as well, and we didn't get any objectives completed this season. Partly because we didn't beat anyone by five goals, which was the closest we got a four-one, and also the board won't give us a coaching badge, which is the other one I thought we might get. So nothing completed on the bingo page, unfortunately, guys. But if you did like the season, like the video, if you like the season, if you like the save, if you like me, if you like anything about the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll catch you then. Goodbye.